So I just got the news that my painting was selected to be permanently displayed at a new facility here in San Jose. And I'm excited about it, I'm not gonna lie. I went over the details of this project in this video right here if you wanna watch it. But the point of this video today is to share how I've made $8,500 in just the last 72 hours with two paintings so that you can find similar opportunities in your area because it is a lot easier than you think. To find the opportunities, not always to win them. And here is what you need to do to find other opportunities just like that one. This opportunity actually came directly to me from the city of San Jose's public art program. And if you're wondering, yes, your city most likely has the exact same thing. Now there are two main ways to always know about these things. The first is to make sure you follow your city and your city's art programs or whatever it may be on all social media accounts so that you can see the updates and the announcements, or opportunities, or anything that they're doing that may be of interest to you, whether that's through paid programs or exhibits or any kind of showcase, anything like that. Make sure you're following their socials. Now, the other way is to head to your city's website, whatever city it may be. Go there, try to find the art program or anything that's related to the arts. They will usually have some form of email newsletter. Subscribe to that and just stay tuned for updates. I mean, the thing that I just mentioned, that's how I found out about it first, before any post on social or anything like that. Paid award, grant. I mean, this is a free submission to possibly be granted $5,000 in exchange for your artwork. It's just an awesome opportunity from the city. So that's first and foremost, make sure that you are following your city, you're on their email list for any type of updates in regards to their art program. They're kind of tapped into a lot of stuff that's going on in the city, obviously. That's usually the first voice. So make sure that you're aware of what's going on. Trust me when I say this works, this is actually the second time that I've been awarded something from the city. They had an opportunity back in 2020 that was at the airport here in San San Jose, and I was awarded $3,000 for the artwork that was selected for that. I paid half of that award to the person that told me about it because it was really cool and I didn't know that it was going on at the time, which is why you should stay up to date with these things. So I told them that if I ended up getting accepted, I would give them half of it as a thank you. Now, the second way, which is highly underrated, not well known amongst artists in my experience, is all for entry. This platform is full of different opportunities, both local and national. This platform is built for artists who want to submit or the organizations that want to have some type of offer or some type of program or something that they're trying to look for artists for. So what you'll do is you'll create a profile and you'll select apply to calls. When you do that, you're gonna have a bunch of different options here and you can break down sort of what you're looking for. So what I mean is if you were to select call type and say in this case, we wanted to look for something that was paid, for example, come down here and select grants and award. These are two types that you know for for certain they're gonna have some type of paid award because it's budgeted from some city grant or it's got some kind of award for whatever program it is. So once I select these two things, I'm gonna see a bunch of different opportunities right here. It'll tell you exactly the call type. So this is a grant. So I know this is some community or this is some city funded program. It'll tell you if it's local or not. This one obviously says local, which is similar to the ones that I did here. You had to be able to prove that you were from the city or from a specific area that they'll specify. Some of them have an entry fee, some don't. You can easily filter that out as well. Both the ones I did, by the way, didn't have an entry fee, the deadline and all the other stuff inside. Once you go into apply or go in for more info, it'll tell you like the themes, everything about it, the mediums, all that kind of stuff. But this one right here, this is up to $2,000. So, and that's just one of them. Again, these are everywhere. This one right here, international. So you don't have to be local. This is one for photographers and they have a bunch of different types of cash prizes. I mean, there's just tons of these as you scroll down. 2,000 here, 2,000 there. Some for photography, some for painting. That one's a 10, th damn. This recipient will be worth a $10,000 grant. And be presented at the opening of a virtual exhibit in December of 2024. I'm gonna check that one out later. Exhibitions, festivals. I mean, the, look how many different options you have. Public art, which is the one that I just got into. So those are really good to look at because a lot of those are paid as well. Since it's public art, it's usually from the city and stuff like that. So anyway, this platform is awesome. It's free to create a profile on, and you can turn on email notifications to have it send you an email every time there's an opportunity in your area. And then it's gonna start emailing you for those opportunities every single time a new one comes in. So you absolutely have to get on this ASAP. The remaining 3,500 to total, the 8,500 I mentioned in the last 72 hours came from the painting that I had in the De Young Museum. Somebody had reached out to me before the exhibit ended and purchased it, which is awesome. I have a full video on my YouTube about the De Young and that painting and all that stuff as well, but I can only link one per video. So go watch that later to get the full thing. The De Young is a very prestigious museum in San Francisco. Back in 2020, they did a local exhibit called the De Young Open that was only available for local artists to submit. It was lucky enough to be accepted at the time. It's a triennial, triennial, centennial, triennial. I think triennial is right. 
but they do it every three years now. Very happy that I was accepted again for the 2023 exhibit. Got a lot of great messages from people throughout that entire exhibit. And a few weeks before it ended, somebody reached out and asked to purchase it. Fun fact is there's another person in 2020 that actually told me about this. This was right when I started getting into art, it was in 2020. So I didn't know about any of the stuff I'm mentioning. This is why I'm stressing it because if I would have been aware, I would have found all these things on my own and other stuff. But at the time I was lucky enough to have people tell me. So as a thank you to that person, I actually did a portrait of their cat that recently passed. So I gave that to them as a surprise gift, as a thank you. This type of exhibit is not paid. So you submit, which is free, but if you get accepted, you just get the exposure. And the exposure is very, very worth it because if you're in any type of art gallery or museum, you're literally surrounded by art fans. And this is what you want because that is your most likely chance to growth and exposure and possible sales is being surrounded by people who love art. Social media is great, but a lot of people follow you for a variety of reasons, probably outside of your artwork. Maybe you've known them a long time or they're family friends or went to school together or anything like that. They're not all really into art. You're in a gallery or in a museum. You're surrounded by people that like art. So this was a big deal because this is a very famous museum that gets thousands of visitors. And so that type of exposure for artwork or painting was just really awesome. But here's the thing, this type of opportunity is found the same exact way as the previous. So similarly to how I want you to follow your city's local programs and all those things, you need to go add any museum in your area on socials, any email list they have, anything like that, any art gallery, large or small, get familiar with what's going on with them. They do posts and announcements and shout outs. And a lot of times from what I've learned, because I've been in several of them now, a lot of them have these open calls and they'll let you submit nationwide. This one was specifically for the Bay Area, but a lot of them are nationwide. At the end of the day, the more art fans that you surround yourself by, the more opportunities you have for growth, the more opportunities you have for networking and development, and that exposure is gonna lead to a bigger audience and potentially more sales of your artwork. The opportunities are out there, I promise you, and they're probably a lot closer to you than you think. You just have to do a little bit of digging and put your artwork out there. Anyway, I just wanted to share this because anything that I ever learned that I feel like can help my fellow artists out there, uh, I know how challenging it can be to grow, how challenging it can be to make money with artwork and to develop and find an audience. And by the way, this was a crazy, few days. This is this is not normally how it goes in 72 hours. I just happened to find out about both of these things in a short period of time. And I wanted to share that as sort of a motivating thing because I know how kind of gatekeepy the art spaces can feel at times, but I love sharing anything that I've learned that I think can help out others. So hopefully this helps some of you. Hopefully this um, kind of opens your eyes to the opportunities around you and how to get in contact with them and how to participate in them. But uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or share any stories of you if you've had kind of similar successes with any of this stuff. I would love to help or give my opinion on anything related to this. And if you like this video, you'll probably like my next one even better. And uh, good night. I just meant to block it. Anyway, good night.